Hi guys, today in the workshop we've got this Audi TT that's in for an engine management light on the dash and intermittently cutting out. We've put on our diagnostic tool and we can see this cord here. So looking a little bit more into this fault, there is a common problem with the fuel pump control modules that we'll have to check out. If we clear the fault and the light goes off the dash, it only takes one more start in order for that fault to return back onto the diagnostic tool. That is actually good for us because when we do the repair, we can clarify that when we start it back up again, we can make sure that that fault doesn't come back so we can confirm our repair. To gain access to the module, we have to slide the driver's seat forward and adjust the backrest into the forwardmost position. Then we have to remove the plastic panelling, starting with this one. All of these panels should just pop out. But still be careful that you don't damage anything. Once that panel has been removed, you'll be able to see the fuel pump module. This sits in the cover that's just on top of the fuel pump. Using a flathead screwdriver, you should be able to prise the module out of its position and undo the multi-plug. Once that's been disconnected, you can take out the rubber bung and then you should be able to pop up that top cover. With that cover out of the way, you'll be able to see the top of the low pressure fuel pump and the other end of the wiring that comes from the module that plugs into it. Using a flat edge screwdriver, you'll be able to prise up the security tab and undo the multi-plug. With this multi-plug undone, we can now remove the module. Once you've removed the module, you'll have to feed the wiring through and out of that top cover. These modules are known to fail and a common reason for this is moisture buildup inside the module itself. So here's the part number for the replacement module and these don't need to be programmed, these can be fitted straight into the car. Now with the replacement module, you can feed the wiring through that top cover, making sure that the rubber bung is correctly seated and that everything clips nicely into place. When you're happy with this, you'll be able to reconnect the multi-plug to the top of the low pressure fuel pump. Then that top cover will press into place and this can only go on in one way because there's plastic cutouts. You'll know when this is seated correctly because it'll click nicely into place. Then just reconnect the multi-plug on the other part of the module, make sure it's seated in place and you can clear fault codes. When you're happy that you've swapped over that module and you've cleared the fault codes and you've started it up back in the workshop and it hasn't got that fault back on, you can take it out on road test. When you're happy that you've been on road test and you haven't got any issues when driving, I would scan it again just to make sure that you have no more returning cords and then when you're happy with that then you can reassemble the panelling that covers that module. This is just the reverse order of when you strip it down so these should just pop back into place. And that is it for this video guys, I hope this has helped. If it has, please give us a like, comment, and if you have any questions, please leave them down below, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Cheers.